This video is sponsored by Brilliant.org. In this Starship update, Ship 20 is destacked, Ship 22 is assembled and moved into storage, expansion continues at Roberts Road, and we discussed the recent Starship presentation and the Polaris announcement. Hey everyone, this is Ian Atkinson with NASA Spaceflight, here to give you an update on SpaceX's Starship facilities as of mid-February 2022. What an exciting past few weeks it's been. During the night of February 9th and 10th, we saw the second ever full stack of Starship be assembled. However, unlike last August, the lifting of Ship 20 was not accomplished using a mobile crane, but rather using the chopsticks on the launch tower. This was also the first lift of any vehicle by the chopsticks. We previously saw them conduct numerous lifting tests of water bags, but this was their first operational lift. Everything seemed to go well, and at some points the lift was paused, likely to confirm that all systems were working well. Ship 20 was stacked atop Booster 4, which itself was lifted onto the orbital launch mount earlier in February. This lift not only tested the chopsticks, but also quite literally set the stage for the Starship presentation later that week. Dozens of members of the media, including a few representatives from nasaspaceflight.com, were invited to see a presentation on the progress SpaceX has made on Starship over the past two years. At this event, SpaceX CEO Elon Musk shared details such as the first pictures and videos of Raptor 2, a simpler, cheaper, and more powerful version of the Raptor engine. Raptor 2 will be used on future boosters and ships, starting with Booster 7. Elon shared that there would be some cool announcements coming soon about crewed flights on Starship. On Monday, February 14th, the Polaris program was publicly announced. Led by Jared Isaacman, the commander of Inspiration4, this three-mission program will work with SpaceX to develop technologies needed to go to the Moon and Mars. The first mission, named Polaris Dawn, will launch near the end of this year using a Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon, carrying four crew members. During the mission, the capsule will be depressurized and one crew member will exit the capsule to perform a spacewalk wearing a SpaceX-made EVA suit. The second mission is unknown, but the third mission will see the first ever crewed flight of Starship. No timeline for that mission is known. NASA Spaceflight got to sit down with Jared Isaacman and mission pilot Scott Poteet to discuss the program, and you can find a link to that video in the description. Back at the Starship presentation, Elon also shared a cool new render of what a Starship orbital launch will look like. A Q&A followed the presentation, where we got even more cool details on the future of Starship. One big point of the presentation was that SpaceX is beginning to ramp up work on Starship at Cape Canaveral. We are, we are building a, uh, a launch site, uh, a Starship uh, launch, launch tower at uh, 39A at uh, Cape Kennedy. And um, we are also building a Starship production facility at, at the Cape. So we'll have a production facility and launch site here and a production facility and launch site at the Cape as well. We previously covered how work has begun on a Starship launch mount at 39A, which will be an upgraded version of the one at Boca Chica. But what's a launch pad without any vehicles for it to launch? Enter Roberts Road. This 67-acre facility is quickly becoming SpaceX's hub of operations at Cape Canaveral. Originally, the company built a large building, known as Hangar X, at the site for refurbishing and storing up to nine Falcon 9 boosters at once, as well as hosting some office space. Now, Hangar X is being expanded, and its footprint will be approximately doubled. But that's not all. Roberts Road will also be the production site of Starship and Super Heavy vehicles for Cape Canaveral. NASA spaceflight photographers Julia Bergeron and Stephen Marr recently flew over the site capturing dozens of pictures and several videos of the site. The hangar extension is well underway. It's currently unknown what specifically this extra space is needed for, but it could have something to do with Falcon 9 launch operations. But Hangar X is not the only active construction area at the site. Just a few hundred feet away, crews are leveling and preparing the ground for the construction of a large Starship factory. And this building will be large. Harry Stranger tweeted an overlay of the building plant onto Boca Chica's assembly site. Even in its first phase, this building will have a larger footprint than all three production tents combined. 
two buildings, similar in footprint to the under construction wide bay, will be adjacent to the factory. In addition to ground leveling, crews are building several foundations to support future construction, such as the sections of 39A's orbital launch tower. NASA Spaceflight recently published a video with additional pictures and video clips of this flyover. Check it out for more cool footage, and be on the lookout for additional flyover videos in the near future. Back at Boca Chica, Ship 20 was lifted off of Booster 4 on February 14th. It was set down onto a transport mount and moved near the orbital tank farm. Using the new transport mount as a propellant loader, Ship 20 was filled with liquid nitrogen from the tank farm for a cryogenic proof test on February 16th. Another cryo test was performed the next day. Booster 4 performed its own cryo proof on February 19th. It seems that these tests may have been to verify the tank's integrity following the stacking. Speaking of the orbital tank farm, it received its first delivery of liquid methane on February 13th. This is a major milestone as it's one more hurdle cleared on the road to a booster static fire. However, it's not clear whether or not Booster 4 will be the first Super Heavy to perform one. At the production site, work is complete on Ship 22. What would have been Ship 21's nose cone was stacked onto Ship 22 on February 14th, and its aft flaps were later attached on the 19th. Following the attachment of its aft flaps, Ship 22 was mysteriously moved to SpaceX's rocket garden on February 20th, between SN15 and 16. This seems to point to Ship 22 not flying, or at least moving into long-term storage. Up until now, it was believed that Ship 22 might take flight atop Booster 7, which is currently undergoing assembly inside the high bay. This move may signify that Ship 24 will now be flying atop Booster 7. In addition, Booster 8 has begun stacking, as the first tank sections were lifted into the high bay for assembly on February 18th. And speaking of new boosters, we also saw a quick fit check of a booster forward skirt and ship aft skirt. These may have been parts for booster 8 and ship 24, respectively. The purpose of this quick test was to validate that the two will connect together properly. The two pieces were then demated shortly after. Also, the common dome section of ship 25 was spotted on February 16th inside a production tent. And finally, the wide bay is reaching a new height as the first section of its fifth level was lifted into place. This new level means that it has finally surpassed the high bay's height, making it the tallest structure at the build site. Thanks to Brilliant.org for sponsoring this video. Brilliant is a problem-solving website that lets you interactively learn science, math, mechanics, and more. In fact, interactive learning is six times more effective than just watching a lecture video. With a wide variety of courses available, you'll find something you'll love no matter your skill level. I've personally been working on their astrophysics course, and I like how the lessons start off with simple reviews and examples, and slowly build up to the more advanced topics. The lessons in the course break down several elements of astrophysics using everyday analogies and examples, making them accessible and understandable to anyone. You can check out Brilliant for free at brilliant.org slash NASA Spaceflight or by clicking the link in the description. The first 200 users to use the link will even get 20% off an annual premium subscription. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and have a great week.